This video describes the process to set up a Samsung NJ690 TV to operate with the Healthcare TV emulator to support pillow speaker control. First, we will explain the cloning process, as this is the easiest way to get the TV set with all the required parameters. You will need to download the template clone file using your computer's browser. Go to www.protvfiles.com slash htve slash nj690 slash t ktm 2 akucbzip Once the file is downloaded, you will need to unzip it and copy the folder to a USB memory. Connect the USB memory on either of the two USB connections available. When a new TV is turned on for the first time, it will display the installation wizard. Using the remote control, press the select key to choose the region and language. For the TV installation type, choose factory menu. On the setup complete screen, press enter to enter the factory menu. Move down to the cloning option on the menu. On the cloning menu, Select clone from USB to TV. On the confirmation screen, accept to copy the USB data to the TV. After the cloning process, the TV will turn off. You may turn on the TV and add any additional setups as required for the location, such as channel ring, If instead of the clone process, a manual setup is preferred. Then, on the installation wizard, proceed and select the TV installation type as factory menu. The first item that must be changed is the virtual standby. Select the virtual standby option and turn it on. Use the return key on the remote to go back. Confirm that virtual standby is shown as on. Use the return key again to go to the main menu. Move to the option SI Vendor. Select SI Vendor and change it to SSCP. Use the return key again to go to the main menu. Move to the bathroom speaker option. Select the bathroom speaker option and change the subamp volume to 4. Use the return key again to go to the main menu. This concludes setting the items required to support the Healthcare TV emulator. Additional items required for the locations may be configured at this time. For example, the channel ring may be created by selecting the channel option, then the channel setup option, and performing the auto program operation. The starting channel during power on can be configured on the power on section. After all of the settings are made, exit the factory menu by turning off the TV. The last setup item required on the TV 
is turning off the internal speakers. Turn on the TV. Use the menu key on the remote control, and select the sound option. Change the sound output to, audio out slash optical. Sound will now be heard only on the pillow speaker. Press the return key or the exit key to close the menu. For the Samsung NJ690 models, that are not running a H browser application, the volume control will need to be configured for standalone mode. If the pillow speaker volume control is not set, then when the volume keys are pressed, the TV will show a message of audio out slash optical and there will be no change in volume. To set the pillow speaker volume control, you will need to toggle the power to the healthcare TV emulator, and then within a period of 5 seconds, press the pillow speaker's zero key. The easiest way to toggle the power to the healthcare interface, is to disconnect and reconnect the USB cable on the side of the TV. Then press the zero key on the pillow speaker. After this, you will be able to use the volume keys to change the volume. This concludes the TV setup to support the healthcare TV interface. We recommend that at this stage, you create a clone file, so that new TVs can be easily configured.